I'm Liz McNeil, Communications and Public Affairs Director for the Oklahoma House of Representatives. It's week six and deadline on the House floor. This week in Under the Dome, we spoke with Representative Wesselhoff, Cox, and Dunnington. House Bill 2337 passed the floor yesterday. Well, that bill is the strongest Fourth Amendment bill probably that has been proposed out here at the Capitol in my memory, 12 Mm -hmm. years that I've worked here. And basically it sets ground rules for law enforcement uh, on how to deal with drones. If it's really urgent to actually get out there with a drone and surveil somebody without going through the process of calling a judge, you can even do that. And then my bill allows for 48 hours to get back with the judge to explain why it was urgent and emergency to go out and surveil somebody. We have no ground rules that protect individuals uh, other than FAA regulations, but that only pertains to how fast they can fly, how high, how near. When you have a bill that can unite the ACLU and strong conservatives and libertarians, I think that's a pretty important bill. Representative Cox had success on the floor with House Bill 2549 passing 86 to 0. Well, many of our nursing homes are struggling financially. They're operating on a razor thin margin. And the good news is that hospitals are stepping up and and actually willing to manage or purchase uh, nursing homes. I think that uh, this will help as far as. financial stability and what the bill does is allow the health department to work with those hospitals as far as ensuring and improving uh, the quality of care in the nursing homes. So House Bill 2929 is the equal pay bill that we've been working on uh, the first six weeks of session and got a uh, 59 to 32 vote yesterday to move off the House floor and head over to the Senate. It takes existing law that we already have based on the Equal Pay Act of 1963 and it basically makes it better. It adds an element of transparency to it, uh, providing a better access for women to find out if they're being paid less than their male counterparts. And uh, then it puts a better enforcement piece in at the back end of it, allowing those same women that find out that they are being paid less than their male counterparts to do something about it. Representative Dunnington, we want to congratulate you on passage of your first bill. Thank you for joining us in Under the Dome.